According to a Brookings Institute report, millennials will make up as much as 75% of the U.S. workforce by 2025. So here's the bottom line. If they aren't working for you already, they will be. And if you're not working for them, you probably will be pretty soon too. So you're going to meet International Workforce Performance Authority speaker and author Mark Schwartz. And he's worked with large brands including Johnson & Johnson, AT&T, Abbott Labs, Novartis, and Charles River. And what he does is he uses his extensive leadership training experience with over 50,000 executives, middle managers and entrepreneurs in 38 countries. And what he does is he helps them understand what drives workforce performance. And that includes working either in or within the current generations, no matter where you are and how you're going to adapt and work with the new ones and keep you and them motivated and able to perform at peak levels. And he uses something he calls his power shift training method. So we're going to meet Mark right now. Sports, welcome. How are you doing? Mike, it's a delight to be here. Thank All you. right. So you've got quite the story that got you here, but you're also going to be talking about how to influence, persuade, and, and do that with employees. Also keep managers and keep everyone working in sync so they uh, work better, they get more done, they make more money, and they're happier and stick around longer, right? They, they stick around longer. That's probably one of the biggest things. Yeah, yeah. So what got you here? What's your backstory? You know, Mike, I, I got into, uh, out of college, I went into to job and the profession, and uh, seven jobs I had in a 12-year period. And the reason is, is because the people that I worked for, my bosses, the people that were leading me and guiding me, um, I don't mean to be critical, but they oh, were critical. pretty horrific. And boy, it was degrading. It was energy draining. It was, uh, I really started questioning my own self and my own self-worth. And finally, I just said, I've had enough. I cannot work for somebody who treats me like this, who it's all about them as opposed to even having a, a, a little bit of interest about me. So I went off and started my own thing uh, well over 28 years ago. Very good. And that led you to what you're doing now. So yeah. if you're going to encapsulate, if you're going to describe what you do and who you do it for right now, that lights them up and lights you up, what would you, what would you say it is? Well, we focus on leaders. We focus on managers. We even focus on executives. And this is for you know entrepreneurial startups all the way up to m large multinationals. And we work with uh, them to teach them how to create a high performance environment. An environment that's nurturing, you know, one where they have to spend less time managing and motivating people because they got the right people. And instead they can focus on building and growing their business. And again, I go back to it's, it's nurturing. It really brings out the best in people. But again, you have to be aware, you gotta hire the right people to, to put into that system. So we work with them from beginning to end, especially about finding people and, and how to create that nurturing environment. Very good, so I know you've got some big ideas and strategies that anyone can use right now, and I would uh, assume that means in if you're a startup or you've got an, a large organization. So what's working best right now? What's working best is in what we teach is literally is uh, because of the millennials, they are a driving force for change. And if we're not, like you said, if we're not paying attention to them now, we had better be. Yeah, you're either they're either working for you, or you're working for them. That's right? exactly right. Uh -huh. And I'll tell you, you know that they are going. They are a major force. There's 89 million. There's bigger than the boomers. It's amazing, and uh, the point out of that is, is they are making, because of their value system, they're making an impact on business now, but it's going to be even more profound over the next five to six years. So we have to learn what drives and motivates them. We have to be open and collaborative with them, but more so than just millennials, people in general are tired of being, like I was in my seven jobs in 12 years, tired of being disrespected. 
So what we're teaching leaders is, is really truly is start with a couple of things like, number one, um, ask. Do things, you know, stop telling people, stop being directive. Instead, ask great questions. It's a real skill set that most leaders do not put enough emphasis on. Ask questions, find out, number two, find out what drives your people. Everybody's got a motivation, Mike. Everybody's motiva motivated by something, especially if they're drawing a breath. So we teach leaders, okay, find out what those motivators are. Find out what the, the reason those people get out of bed and use that, not against them, but use it for alignment with the organization so that everybody wins and those people feel respected and engaged. And last but not least is the vision. Mike, when you know people work together on a team or a company, a project, um, maybe the boss never says much. They don't give much information or direction. Uh, they don't tell them where they're headed. And that is a cause for disengagement. If people don't know where we're go they're going, they disengage. So we say those three things, especially the vision piece is let people know where you want to take them and engage them, even have them, you know, help to create that vision. That's an engagement piece that we think is real strong. Fantastic. So I know you write about this in your book. So yeah. talk a little bit about the book Power Shift and you're making it available to everyone watching right now as well. Yes. So wh what's the deal with the book and where do they get it? How do they learn more about you and how to work with you? Well, the, the book really was written because of that frustration I talked about, seven jobs, 12 years. And one of the things, if, my, if the bosses who led me or guided me had just somehow engaged me and, and were highly influential as opposed to dictatorial, it would have been a whole different thing for how I responded. I look to get away from them instead of engage with them. So in the book, we talk about how to be more engaging, how to use influence as opposed to force or coercion, uh, power, Do, that's not where this, not only the millennials, but again, all people, we're, we're not hardwired that way. We want to be respected and engaged. That's what we talk about in Power Shift. And uh, how they can get the book is they can go to uh, spectracom.com forward slash book. And it's real easy, and spectracom is S-P-E-C-T-R-A-C-O-M-M.com. And happy to have people avail themselves of that, or when they get there, they can also do a let's talk, and I'd be happy to discuss with them through a discovery conversation how we can help their team, group, or organization be even more effective. Fantastic. All yeah. right. So next step is yours to take. Very easy. Head on over to spectracom.com slash book. Yes. Get a copy of the book. Learn more about Mark. You'll find, as you can see already, super dynamic, really interesting guy who can make a big impact in your organization. So thanks for being here. Thanks, Mike. Fantastic. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. Here's Nicole.